well. What's up, little kitty? Radio, a radio handsome spider. Oh, no, no, no. It might be a good film, but in reality, it's crazy to think of it. <laughs> Let's explore that by answering a filmy question. What if a deadly spider bites you? Zoom in! I'm sure many of us have wondered if getting bitten by a spider could give us superpowers just like in the movies. Well, while it's fun to imagine this scenario, the truth is far more dangerous than fiction. That's because in the real world, spider bites can be risky, especially when it comes to venomous species. Yes, while most of the over 40,000 spider species are harmless, bites from certain spiders like the Brazilian wandering spider, Sydney funnel web spider, and Black Widow Spider can cause serious health issues. Let's dive into why and how this happens. You see, when one of these venomous spiders bites you, the first thing you'll feel is pain and swelling around the bite area. This can be followed by some pretty scary symptoms like a racing heart, changes in blood pressure, muscle cramps, and even feeling dizzy or nauseous. What happens next depends on a few things. The severity of your symptoms, the type of spider, and how strong its venom is. For example, the Brazilian wandering spider has venom with neurotoxins that can mess with your muscle control and make it hard to breathe. The funnel web spider's venom acts super fast and can really mess up your nervous system. The Black Widow's venom also targets the nervous system, causing muscle pain and cramps all over your body. On top of that, if you're allergic, things can get even worse, potentially leading to anaphylactic shock if you don't get treated quickly. And worst of all, in rare cases, especially if your immune system isn't strong, a bite from a Brazilian wandering spider can be fatal. So, it's really important to be cautious around these venomous spiders and know what to do if you get bitten. So, what should you do if a spider bites you? Well, first stay calm and try to identify the spider or take a picture of it. This could be really helpful later. Then wash the bite area thoroughly with soap and water to prevent infection. If it's a bite from a non-venomous or less dangerous spider, you can use an ice pack or a cool wet cloth on the bite to help with pain and swelling. But if you think it's a venomous spider, don't waste any time. Get to a hospital right away. Tell the doctor what the spider looked like and they can give you the right treatment and anti-venom if needed. But as the saying goes, prevention is better than cure. Be extra careful in places where spiders like to hang out, like garages, attics and wood piles. Make sure these areas are free of spider webs. Wear gloves, long sleeves and pants when you're gardening, cleaning the garage or working around wood piles. Keep firewood outside to avoid bringing spiders indoors. And always shake out your shoes and gardening gloves if they've been stored in places like the garage, shed, basement or attic. By being prepared and acting quickly, you can protect yourself from the serious health risks posed by venomous spiders. Trivia time! Did you know that according to the Guinea's world records, the Sydney funnel web spider is the most dangerous spider to humans in the world? Yes, but the wandering spider shares the title as well. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Krishna Nanda. Hope you learned something vital today. 
Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Never mind. <laughs>